welcome back to my channel and today welcome to my new kitchen crazy huh i feel like i say everything in like an announcer's voice my new kitchen but i'm really excited to be here not only in my new kitchen also in nashville tennessee and this is the first food video that i'm doing in my new kitchen if it's a little echoey it's because we legitimately don't have any furniture here yet so you're just hearing Yes, you're just hearing my voice echoing in my room. So, I'm gonna jump into today's video. This video is sponsored by HelloFresh. I keep looking over there because I'm looking at my HelloFresh bag. So, to those of you that do not know what HelloFresh is, HelloFresh is a meal kit delivery service that makes cooking more fun. So you can focus on the whole experience, not just the final plate. It really does feel like a cooking class. And that's probably my favorite thing about HelloFresh is learning how to cook with different types of ingredients and different ways. And it's just a really fun experience. And what's cool too is HelloFresh actually employs two full-time dietitians to make sure that your meals are healthy and balanced. And and you don't have to be a professional cook to cook with HelloFresh. You really can learn how to up your cooking skills, which is what I love. Anyone from beginner to professional can use this and enjoy it. And if you use the code HelloNikki30, you will receive $30 off of your first week of deliveries by visiting HelloFresh using the link down below. Let's hop right in. All right, so we're starting off with our first recipe with this melty eggplant sandwich. Well, they're calling it matzo sandwiches. And here are all the ingredients that you're going to need. So I started off by taking my eggplant and I cut it up into little circle cubes like so. And then I diced up my white onion. Then I scooped it into my ramekin, set that off to the side. And then I prepped my baby broccoli by cutting it up into little slices. And then I put my eggplant on a pan, brushed it with some olive oil well with my handy dandy little plastic spatula brush thing I'm a bobber did a little dance because you always got to do a little dance when you're cooking and then I added some pepper and some salt and then I threw it in the oven at around 400 degrees and I let it cook for seven minutes and while that was cooking I finally cut up my garlic and then I flipped them this is a brand new oven so it kind of overcooked the one side a little bit so you know noted for the second side so then while that was in I cut up my mozzarella into little circular chunks to the best of my ability and then I took a pan and I added a little bit of olive oil and I sauteed my onions with the Italian seasoning that they included in the HelloFresh box and then I pulled out my eggplant circles and then I threw back in the oven my baby broccoli by the way this is the janky way that I toss like oil and veggies I just kind of fold it into itself with the tin foil um as you saw I added a little bit of salt and pepper and then while that was cooking I added some garlic to my onions and then I added in my tomatoes as well as a little bit of extra water to the mix um, and then I just stirred that it smelled so good and once it simmered for a little bit I did about a scoop onto each little eggplant round added a slice of mozzarella threw it back in the oven and then just like movie magic pulled it out and then I cut my buns in half and threw them in the oven just for like honestly like a minute and a half to toast up and then I pulled out my baby broccoli oh I'm getting hungry for it looking at it I uh, what's the word assembled my sandwich out of our baby broccoli to the plate and voila recipe one is complete oh yeah I already know that this is gonna be delicious because I already taste tested one of the eggplants and the sauce the sauce is so good but I'll still taste it oh my goodness guys I thought I ruined it when I overcooked the eggplant. It's so good. The eggplant is so tender. The sauce is delicious. The mozzarella, of course, is super yummy. Mm. This is good, too. <laughs> winner, winner. All right, peeps, so recipe number two, one pot tortelloni. I could have sworn that this was called tortellini, but I guess it's tortelloni. And here are all of the ingredients that you will need to make this recipe. So I started off by chopping up my garlic, adding some olive oil to a pan, and then sauteing that garlic, which is always a good idea. And then I dumped in my pre-cut 
pre-copped, pre-chopped kale, added a little bit of water, pepper, and salt, and then I added in the milk that they sent me with HelloFresh, as well as my veggie bouillon base thingamabobber situation. Then I added in some fresh pesto, which, oh, I just, I love pesto so much. And then I stirred the pot up and then added in the tortelloni, which is weird to call it that. I keep wanting to call it tortellini. Um, it must have been pre-cooked because it cooked really fast. And then I added in some Parmesan, some panko crust, and on like the little breadcrumbs. Threw that in the oven, which you only want to do if you have an oven safe pan, by the way. And then voila, it was complete. Oh, 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 I don't know what that is. All right, this is the one I'm the most scared about because I felt a little like I was messing something up when I made this. So we're gonna find out. Okay, yeah, it's pretty good. And I'm liking the kale too. The kale in here is really good. Bon appetit. Hey, get ready for meal number three, Mediterranean couscous. I'm dabbing right now, you just can't see it. Um, so here are all of the ingredients you're going to need to create this meal. And I started off by having my zucchini and then having it again, and then cutting it like you would circle-wise, but it creates all these little corner cube situation thingamabobbers. And then I quartered up some cherry tomatoes, cut up some spring onions, halved a lemon, and then I de-stemmed, if that's what you want to call it, some thyme. Ooh, and here's my array of produce all lined up. Wow. So um, I cut up my garlic, uh, half because I don't have a garlic press yet, and half because I heard that that actually helps maintain the integrity of the flavor better. Side note, so then I took the veggies and I spread them on a pan with some tin foil and some olive oil. I did my janky way of massaging my veggies again. Wow, look at me go. And then I added some pepper, some salt, and then I put them into the oven. And Bowser stood nearby and was sad because he wants all of our human food and he can't have any. So then I drained my chickpeas, spread them across the pan, and then I used a little bit of paprika, wish I had used a lot more to be honest. Um, massaged that onto the foil again, stuck that in the oven, and then while that was cooking, I added some butter to a pot, my garlic, holy Toledo, um, the whiter parts of the scallions, and then I added the couscous to toast. Apparently this is a thing where you can like toast your grains before you add water. So that was veggie broth I added in by the way, and then I added in my water, and at that point my veggies were done, and it didn't take long for the couscous to cook, by the way, maybe a few minutes with the lid on. Added in my feta cheese, my lemon juice, my scallions. Um, I plated it, and then at that point I pulled out the chickpeas from the oven, added a little bit more chickpeas, some feta, and mm, it's done. All right, here we go, people. I'm really excited about this one. Okay. This is way better than I expected this to be. First off, I don't know if I've ever had couscous before. Mmm. Wow. Um, it has kind of a, what is it called, a borea? It's kind of creamy. It kind of has that vibe to it. I don't know, this might be my favorite of the three. This is surprisingly really good. Mm. All right guys, so I'm gonna sign off from my kitchen. I will see you all very, very, well, very soon with another new video. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. All right guys, and once again, if you want to try out HelloFresh, which I highly recommend because I love it so much, be sure to use the code HelloNikki30 at checkout for $30 off of your first week of meals. Deals and meals, oh yeah. Bye guys. I'm leaving my kitchen.